I've been really, really excited for this game, like unbelievably so. I mean, we got that first demo that came out and I sat down and I played it. And at that point, I just knew this was exactly the type of game I wanted it to be. I played all the way through Primrose and then I started Old Brick by himself and played it all the way through his story. And I just completely enveloped myself in this game. It was fantastic. And then we got this new demo that came out and it promised us three hours of gameplay. And at the end of the three hours, you can continue your gameplay on into the, the main game when you actually get it. And so I thought, yeah, I'm going to play around with this again. Um, I'm actually going to start as Tressa this time, the merchant, because I was really, really interested in her character and her class. And so I started as her, and three hours later, <laughs> all in one sitting, mind you, I had picked up three characters, including Tressa, and I was just having a blast with this game. And I couldn't believe my three hours is up. I just wanted to keep going. It just, it's kind of, it just had set in all of a sudden. Your three hours is up. You can't actually play this game again for another couple of weeks. And then I thought, you know what, I can play this game again for another couple of weeks. I'm actually going to go and I'm going to play the remaining classes. So I picked it up again, I played the last three classes through, and I actually had a really good time playing all of them through, and to the point where I had about an hour left of my playtime, and I'd or I played with all the characters at this stage, so I thought, what am I going to do now? And I thought, you know what, it's only taken me two hours to recruit three of these characters. I wonder if it's possible for me to go collect all eight in one run. And, and I, so I set myself this challenge, I set myself... I'm going to go around, start with Tressa again, because she's my girl, and we're going to go around and collect all the characters. And I actually did it. It was, it was really hard, really intense, um, and what actually happens is, as you get through collecting more characters, uh, up to the party of four, the difficulty increases with the characters. So each boss kind of got harder and harder, and I thought I was doing really good for time at the start, and but by the end, I was kind of really rushing through, and I think I only finished with about eight minutes left or something like that. Um, it, later on, I actually found out that Teresa, the merchant I've been playing as, has an ability called Hired Help, I think it is, or something like that, uh, where you can basically pay money for have NPCs and come do damage for you, and the more money you pay, the more damage it does, and it's super OP if you just want to take out bosses in, in one go. I didn't use this ability, and I didn't even look up a walkthrough or anything like that to find out where the good weapons are and, and things like that, because there's, there's plenty of ways to get through it, depending on what items you get from chest or what items you steal off NPCs. Anyway, by the time I was, I was done with it, I got to sit down and I thought, well, this is it. I'm not going to pick it up again. I've, I've put like almost 10 hours into this demo now. Um, probably more if you count the original demo as well. I, I can't justify putting any more time into a demo. So I just I put it down for a little while and I sat back and I thought about my time with it. And when I was sitting back thinking about it, I thought, there's a couple of things that stick out to me. And one's the story. I was a little bit worried about the story because I went around and collected all eight characters and yet none of them really interacted with each other. None of them had intertwining stories or anything that was going on and so I thought why am I playing with eight characters if none of them are going to talk to each other you know if I went back and played any other old school RPG I'm picking up a party and the parties all interacting with each other and it's all part of the story and I just didn't get any of that from this and so that I mean that was just problem number one and then I thought about it and I thought you know what the problem number two is here it was a combat I mean don't get me wrong I love the combat I thought it was really it's a, it's a really good system, and I really enjoyed the Bravely Default games, um, and it kind of reminds me of that. And so I would really enjoyed the combat, but by the time I would played, you know, 10 hours of this game, nothing was really evolving. I wasn't really, the combat wasn't changing. I was doing this similar things. Of course, I was getting new abilities, but I was still doing similar things to kind of break these enemies down. And so I was going to do a video covering that, saying, you know, here's my thoughts on... on why I think this needs to change and then I sat back and I thought about it I thought you know what it doesn't actually need to change it, to me what I'm doing here is I'm just reflecting on old school RPGs and, and what I got out of them and trying to get that out of Octopath but perhaps that's what, not what I should be getting out of Octopath and so I sat down and I thought about what, I, what did I enjoy about it and the things that I enjoy about it are the things that I love in RPGs and, and that's the reason that I really enjoyed this game I love exploring towns I love opening up chests and, and talking to NPCs but this game expands on that in a way that I really enjoy it, by giving each character its own kind of ability. So you have the thief who can steal items, you have the merchant who can buy items off NPCs, uh, the thief can open purple chests that are around the, the landscape as well. Uh, you have the huntress who can recruit beasts to fight for her own, and all these other type of abilities that you can do while you're around town. Um, and, and there's a scholar who can kind of inquire from people and, and pull out information or uh, things like that. And so combining all these abilities together made just exploring the world, which is a beautiful world and, and I just want to explore more of it in the first place, but made exploring the world part of the charm and, and really what I liked about this. And, and I think that's what I like about RPGs in general is, is just grabbing all these little bits of information and trying to build my party and my game up as much as possible 
And don't get me wrong, like I, I love I love a good story. And I, I think the, the way these characters are going, each one is going to have eight individual good stories. But I don't think we're ever going to get quite this party atmosphere and this, you know, all interacting with each other that you would get out of a game like Final Fantasy VI. And, and so I think that's maybe where people are going wrong in this and thinking that they're going to try to get Final Fantasy VI out of this. Don't try to get that out of this. Try to get a, a different game, a game that you're going to enjoy for its other aspects because I'm sure there's a lot there to enjoy. And by God, I've played 10 hours and I enjoyed just about every minute of it. So there is a lot there to enjoy. So yeah, I'm really glad that I kind of took the time to reflect on this and, and not just blurt out the first thing that came out of my mouth about it because I'm going to the game so much more excited and hyped than I was before and I think that's going to do it for today's video. Anyway guys, this has been a little bit of more of a, a close personal video, um, something that's a little bit less scripted and I'm planning on putting some of these in between our other big videos that I'm going to be putting together with our top countdowns and just things like that going together. Um, Something to kind of fill up the content with and, and keep you guys interested. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. What I want to know from you though, is what you're thinking of Octopath Traveler. Are you excited as I am? Or maybe you're a little bit worried about the Final Fantasy VI aspects like missing the story, um, like I'm seeing a lot going around. Or maybe the, the, the battle system didn't catch you. Uh, I just want to know. Leave your thoughts in the comments below so we can have a bit of a discussion about it. Thanks for joining me for today's video. Remember, if you like what just happened here, there's a like button, there's a subscribe button. You do you. And for everything Nintendo, stay tuned to Nintendo Everything.